What's going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to revisit the case of Jalisa Fuentes, who is missing out of Selma, California. She's been missing since the 7th of August 2022. She was driving a 2011 silver Hyundai Accent with tinted rear windows, license plate number 8M. PU-766. For those unfamiliar with the case, Jolisa went missing the day after Kylie Rodney went missing. Um, her case, unfortunately, is not getting even a quarter of the coverage that Kylie's case is still getting, even though Kylie has been found, unfortunately, deceased. Every tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist wants to hop on YouTube and continue to talk about Kylie's case, Meanwhile, Jolisa is not getting any media coverage whatsoever or hardly any coverage within the YouTube streets, which I think is a damn shame. So the family is taking matters into their own hands. Uh, they have actually hired a private investigator because they feel that there's definitely foul play involved in their daughter's disappearance. And they've got a GoFundMe, they've raised the reward, and we're going to go over all of that information. So, again, Jolisa was last seen on about the 7th of August, about 16 miles south of Fresno at a gas station in Selma, California. As many days have passed since Jolisa disappeared, despite search efforts by the police and a dive team, the young woman still remains missing. Jolisa was last seen on surveillance footage at a Selma, California gas station at around 4 a.m. on the 7th of August. As I said, that's about 16 miles south of Fresno. Nobody has seen or heard from her since then. And of course, her mother, Norma Nunez, has been worried sick. She's been praying. She's been actively advocating for her daughter, searching for her daughter, trying to get her face out anywhere she can, pleading for help on whatever platform she can. Jaleesa disappeared while she was out getting snacks, and police have said that the case is being treated as a criminal investigation, which it should be, in my opinion. Uh, the family has now decided to take matters into their own hands. They're unsatisfied with the police's response, which I would be too, and they've now hired a private investigator. The reward for information about Jolisa or her whereabouts has been increased now to $15,000. And, you know, the mother thinks that Jolisa's disappearance is very much out of the ordinary and that there's some suspicious activity. Uh, she thinks that someone surely did something to her daughter. And, and I can appreciate that because, I mean... AWP went out, they searched the waterways, there was no sign of Jaleesa. And people don't just up and vanish. So, the family is still doing search operations. They're not going to stop, obviously, until their loved one is home. They go out every day and search for Jaleesa. In recent Facebook posts, Jaleesa's mother has called for her beloved daughter's safe return. One post reads, Day 42, my dear baby girl, I'm missing you so much. My heart can't phantom this pain. I miss you, and I know you can feel us. We will never stop, Jaleesa. I know you're in there fighting too because you're so strong and brave, baby. Today I pray for a breakthrough that someone comes forth and says something. I know someone knows something. Please, we are pleading. Give us answers. We need our baby home. I love you, Lissy. Hashtag bring Jaleesa home safe. One of the that's one of the posts that was recently posted to Facebook by her mother. And another reads night forty two. Good night, my Lissy. I love you wherever you are, and I know your faith is strong. We will find you, baby. That I know. I hope that what whoever has you has a change of heart, that they feel so trapped that they let you go. Maybe tonight I pray for your strength and your faith to not derail. I love you, my daughter, and I will see you in my dreams. Guys, these posts that the mother is making on Facebook are absolutely heartbreaking. 
And I want it to be put out there that I would love for Miss Nunez to come on my channel. And I would love to offer her my platform to talk about her daughter's disappearance and the problems that she's having with local law enforcement when it comes to the search for her daughter. So, Ms. Nunes, if you see this, please reach out to me. I have a Facebook group called Arctic Fox True Crime. I am available on Twitter as well. Uh, I believe I've even reached out to you via message in the past. Just know that I will help you in any way I can to try to bring your daughter home. Uh, now, the family has set up a GoFundMe to help in the search for Jaleesa. And as of this recording, there's 7,050, I'm sorry, $7,555 of the $10,000 goal uh, in the GoFundMe. They are asking for the public's help to fund the efforts in the search for Jaleesa as, again, they aren't receiving the help that is needed by law enforcement. Uh, I don't feel that they ever took Jolisa's case nearly as seriously as they took Kylie's. And we're still seeing that. Again, we see Kylie's face every day all over our news feed, all over our Twitter feed. But we don't see a lot of Jolisa. And we have to question why that is. Is it because Kylie's case is just bringing clicks and views? Is it because some wannabe rap artist or country artist got involved in Kylie's case? I don't know. I personally think it's because Kylie was a white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl from a well-off family, and her case immediately got all the resources directed at it, while Jolisa is a Hispanic female, who is rumored to have been involved in a gang or have gang-related activity. I don't believe that, but that is one of the rumors going around on Facebook. Regardless of whatever circumstance, regardless of whether she was or is or isn't, um, she's still someone's loved one. She's still someone's daughter. She's still someone who is missed very much by their family. And she deserves to have every amount of resources directed at finding her as Kylie Rodney has had at finding her. And now, Kylie's been found. Unfortunately, she was deceased. It would be great if we could use all the attention that we're focusing on a deceased individual towards trying to find someone who may well still be alive and being held against their will. Sometimes, this community makes me ill to my stomach. And this is one of those cases where the it, it really turns my stomach to see all this attention directed still, still at Kylie and hardly any attention towards this individual who went missing the day after Kylie did. So guys, I'm begging you, let's get Jaleesa's face out there. Let's help this family bring Jaleesa home. Let's give Jaleesa the coverage that she deserves because she is loved. Her family misses her. Her family is worried and distraught over her disappearance. Do me a favor. Give the video a like. It does help more people to see the video. And the more people that see the video, the better the chances are that we can bring Jaleesa home safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that red subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted when I post another missing persons video. Most importantly, especially in this case, I need you to click that share button. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media, guys. It could make every bit of difference in trying to bring Jaleesa home. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and I will see you soon in the next video.